you guys. Welcome back. <coughs> okay, this is another hardcore uh, episode. Um, so I do want to build my house around the spawner. Like, definitely want to build my house around the spawner. Uh, it's not going to be anything particularly fancy. It's just going to be a house with a spawner in the middle of it. Oh, that was how I found the spawner in the first place. Right. Um, I'll just... There we go. Um... So, yeah, because I want a a mob trap that I can make use of. And I forgot my sound is off. So I'll just turn that back up. That's good enough. Normally I'd be all anal about it and set it to 50% exactly, but I don't have... I, I just don't like... With the fact that I'm limited by time in videos, I just... I don't want to be wasting my time doing stuff like that. Um... I just recorded a redstone video, and uh, it'll probably go up before this one, so you should be able to see it. Um, but I've literally, seriously, probably tried making that a good 15 times. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but it was a lot. And I'm just going to check to see which direction is which here. We've got 78, 77, that's going down. Okay, so this is the side that needs three. All right, and then one, two, three, four. Just to make sure that I've got it all um, measured out right. Again, normally I don't, I wouldn't condone using F3 like that, um, especially on like a, a playthrough or whatever, um, because I I feel like it's cheating a little bit. But you know, it is in the game, and. Uh, I mean, there are other ways to figure stuff out. That's just the easiest. Um, like, I could... I probably should memorize the um, which directions go which way. And I might even just do that this episode, just so you guys can see it as well. Because, like, I want to say north would be up on the y-axis. But I could be totally wrong. So, um, I want to make sure of that before I go around telling people. So let's see. We've got the way I usually tell. <coughs> the way I usually tell is that this way, uh, you've got this image and this image are both the same way. Like you can see this L here in the corner. It's the same on this side. Whereas if you were to come from this side, the L isn't in that corner. So the way that they line up, it it used to be east, but I think it might be north now, because um, he moved where the sun was. So, and I always judge my directions based on where the things are. So rising east, that's in the west. That means this this way is north. So yeah, it's now points north. Um, and north is um, down? That's weird. Um, north is negative on the z-axis. Which, oh, I guess that makes sense, because if you're facing forward, um, it's like how X, I don't know, I have no idea, guys, don't listen to me, um, but yeah, so, uh, north is negative on the X, on the Z axis, um, which means we've got negative, positive, and then east should be... Yeah, east is positive on the x-axis. Um, just like I thought it was. Oh, wrong F buttons. There we go. <laughs> uh, F3 is that debug mode with the pie graph and everything that I'm finding the numbers on. F5 makes you go into third-person mode. Um, yeah. So I hate to do this on camera. Should I just do this off camera? Well, I've got 20 minutes. Um, I've only spent, like, four minutes so far. Um, hopefully this won't take too long. I need iron tools. That's what I need. Screw this. I'm making iron tools and stuff. Because I have plenty of iron. And, uh, there's no point in... You know, I can at least cook it while I'm digging here, so... No point in letting it stay. Um, should I make an experience trap? Or just a regular mob trap? I mean, I can always do both. But um, if I'm going to make an experience trap, I want to drop them. 
which is much easier with zombies than it is with anything else. Because uh, if you're trying, or zombies and skeletons, because if you're trying to get spiders into a drop trap, it's incredibly difficult. And I'm not going to give any details, but you'll see what I mean soon. Um, so let's put that there. And then I need more sticks. And this cave isn't very secure, so I really need to actually set up a, a home here with like a, a door to the outside. There we go. I like using iron tools. Um, I used to keep my iron tools just for things that need iron tools, but um, a long time ago he made it so that, uh, or Notch made it so that iron was much more common, and I just stuck with it, bec with um, the way I was doing it, just because out of habit. But then I realized how actually abundant it is when I actually run through caves and whatever. So um, it's it seems ridiculous now to use anything but iron tools. Um, so that's what I do. I use iron tools. Uh, I stone tools are great because they're infinite. Because you can always just um, like first of all, uh, stone is incredibly common. Even if it wasn't um, infinite, like actually infinite, because you can just constantly make more with a cobblestone generator using lava. Um, even if it wasn't actually infinite, <coughs> it's incredibly common. <laughs> like you can pretty much just dig down four blocks no matter where you are and find stone. So, um, it's, it's the cheapest one to make, obviously, but when you get to the point where you've got stacks and stacks and stacks of iron, it's like you're not going to run out, especially if you maintain the adventuring and actually going into caves and whatever, um, you'll, you'll never really run out, so, um, it just makes sense to use iron now. I don't know why those are in the floor, so don't ask me, <laughs> because I won't, I won't be able to give you an answer. Alright, so now we've got this thing, the right dimension, actually this is too big in one of these directions. I don't know why I didn't realize that. I mean, it doesn't hurt it being that long, but I just figure, you know, I might as well just make it big enough, or make it the right size, I should say. No point in making it larger as far as I'm concerned. Alright, um, let's see, this will be my... And I want to be within 16 blocks of this at all times, so that means we've got 1, 2, 3... I will count it as in within 16 blocks of this square here, just because that's where... Or actually, I'll just do with this one, this center piece here. So we go over 1, 2... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16. Alright, so that's 16 blocks. And there's water up there. Alright, oh that's the well. I forgot about that. Oh, more iron. I'm surprised I missed that. Apparently I just miss iron all over the place, so, you know, forgive me if I if I do just that at some point or another. Um, whoa! That was painful. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. More iron. All right. See, apparently I just miss it all over the place. It's just everywhere, and I'm just like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't see any iron, so I'll just move on. And then there's iron everywhere, and I get, I yell at myself because it's a stupid mistake. But you know, what are you gonna do? <sighs> so, <clears throat> um, let's see. What are, God, dang it. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try, like I said before, I'm trying not to swear for things like this. I mean, <laughs> maybe I should just ramp up the swearing since we're on a hardcore mode, you know, just for entertainment's purpose, but I'm not going to. Um, although it would suit the hardcore theme. There's zombies somewhere that way. It makes me angry. But, you know, okay, I don't know how to get back up, so <laughs> this will be interesting. Um, does this go back up? It goes to the ravine, which goes up here, and this doesn't go down. Does Can I get down this way? More iron? Is that a no? I can't get back this way? Okay. 
is ridiculous. I don't understand where I am. <laughs> there we go. Jeez. And I'm just back down where I was. Yay! But I did find iron, so there's that. I'm going to pause the video and um, set up a, another recording so I can stick the two videos together. So I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. Uh, okay. So, let's see. How do I get back up? Um, can I go this way? I should be able to go this way, right? I, I can get back up there. There we go. Me or not. <laughs> oh, does not look good. Okay, we're good. We're good. No big deal. I'll just plug up these holes. Because they're annoying. <laughs> Okie dokie. So now, I want this to be like the centerpiece of my house. <laughs> um, that may seem a little weird, but... Um, I'll get the best spawning out of it if I'm always around it when I'm in my house. And um that's that's what I want. <clears throat> so I may make my entire house four blocks tall, just because that way I will have um the best uh what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, let's see, we have, okay, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I apologize for the darkness. I understand that it's probably incredibly difficult for you guys to see. Um, let's see, can I see the spawner from back here? Yep, and it's still on. So if I move back another one, it should put me out of range, but I don't want that. I want to be in range at all times in my house. Um, it'll most likely be only one floor, uh, at least at the very beginning. I may put like a storage room up above or something like that. Um, and I might even put like a pipeline to pull these guys up and then drop them back down. <laughs> um, so that way I know that they take... Because I want them to, I want to do what I normally do with the fall damage, because that's the most precise way of injuring them. Because I can drop them all from one height, but if I try to like drown them, I can't make sure that they all stay in for the same amount of time, because they're all going into the same hole that's where they would drown, and um, which means some of them will come in after the other ones, and they'll drown for longer or less time, and it just doesn't work very well. So fall damage is the most precise way that I can think of. Like Etho tried crushing things. Um, actually, I'll just leave this ring here so I know where the end of it is. Um, but it wasn't very precise, even with the way he did it, because sometimes things would die. Um, and I mean, it's it was alright, because he was just doing it for a blaze farm, which means he didn't get all the experience, but he, um, he did get blaze rods every time, which worked out pretty well for him. Uh, but since I'm going for an experience trap here, um that's not necessarily going to work. I need to make sure that I get as many as possible of the kills um, attributed to me and not them just drowning or getting crushed or whatever. Um, so I am going to just extend this wall. I shouldn't have filled this area in again. <laughs> um, I'm a silly little boy. That came out really weird. Pretend I never said that. Um, anyway, awkward moment passed. Uh, Let's see, I'm going to put up a, another episode of my um, regular Let's Play uh, after this. I'm going to record another, like, I need to record another episode of that because I've done a bunch of work. Uh, but actually, I still need to do more work, so never mind, don't take my word on that. I might just want to, because um, I haven't actually set up a mine yet, which I really want to do, like, desperately. So, um, I may do that before I actually come back and start recording stuff. Also, my voice is getting tired, so... <laughs> um, that's a pretty big reason for me to take a break. I really need something to drink. Um, it's tough talking to yourself for hours on end. Um, okay, so I need to find caves. 
like big caves and I suppose the ravine is probably the best way to do that as of right now and uh, you know I haven't done much adventuring in this world lately so let's just make a chest and dedicate the rest of this event this episode to adventuring will this chest hold everything <laughs> probably not um, there we go and I'll keep this on me just in case um, Okay, I'm just going to cook some food. Let's see, we've got another five minutes left. Um, I hate having to wait for food. I'm gonna, just going to pause the recording until this food is done, and then I'll be back. Alright guys, that's ready. I just made some armor, and that's it. That's all I did. Um, oh, I will make a sword as well. Because iron swords are cooler than stone swords. So... I'll keep the stone sword with me just in case. And it did start raining. And I can't tell if it's nighttime or if it's just raining. But uh, let's see, which way is the ravine? Down this way? Yep. Whoa, lag, laggy lag. Alright. Options, video settings, particles, minimal. There we go. That rain is awful on my computer. Um, it just can't handle it at all. Okay, so now we've got water what are you doing water that's not how you're supposed to behave <laughs> how did it even get over here that is weird all right that was really really strange if you didn't get that from me saying it was really strange then uh it was oh drop let's see if we can't make it safe no we can't make it safely down oh well, relatively safely. Um, there we go. We got a stairway back up. Just block that off. And here we are. Oh, I've been down here before. Why do I not remember being down here before? <laughs> At least I think I've been down here before. There's torches there, so I'm assuming that means I've been here. Yep, definitely been here. And I went that way. I must have come in here with no armor on and then decided to run away. <laughs> Doo -doo. Caves. Wait. No. Duh. I'm on hardcore mode. And I just turned off the <laughs> GUI on accident. F1 removes the um, the whole screen. So, like, all of the GUI elements, like this bar down here and your hunger bar, your health bar, and even the vignette um, that makes the corners of the screen darker. So fill that in. Get rid of all this water or some of this water. There we go. Now all the water's gone. <coughs> and this ravine is connected to the other one. Uh at that very end part where we crossed to find where my home is now. Um or where that spawner is I should say. So I hate mining all this iron on camera, but you know I don't want to, I want this hardcore world to be all on camera, so there's nothing that I do off camera, which is why I say I want to do a lot of adventuring, um, because, I don't know, I just feel like this world, if I, because if I die, then that means the whole thing is done, and I want it to be on camera, so no matter what I do, I want to be on camera at all times, um, which means that I'm afraid of being boring for you guys, because, um, I do a lot of nothing, so. Or just running around in circles, I should say. Okay, this is a weird little area here. Plenty of mushrooms, though, which I will take. Because I have one red mushroom, so. Let's drop that down. Alright, there we go. There's a creeper nearby. Or is that a skeleton? I can't tell. And I'm lagging still. Which isn't appreciated. Oh, creeper! There he is. Don't blow up. Here we go. Gold! That was quick. See, ravines are great for materials because they go down so deep that you get gold almost immediately. 
especially if they're actually underground ravines, because, like, you've got some that are <clears throat> just, like, barely under the ground. I need more torches, which means I need more coal. Oh, boy, so dark. Um, I know you guys probably have a lot of trouble seeing here. And there's coal on the ce <clears throat> on the ceiling. Oh, there's some over there. Bear with me while I kill these zombies. Oh, actually, we're over. So, uh, um, once I kill these zombies, I'll pause the recording, and we'll, uh, I'll have to see you next time, and finish this cave exploration thingy that we're doing. I'm just going to put a torch there, so that I know I've been there. There's a skeleton over in that corner. I'm just going to run back to where we've lit up. All right. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.